Okay, right here is a 1997 Superior Highwall Miner. Superior Highwall Miners Incorporated, or SHM for short, was established in 1994 in Beckley, West Virginia. The company's goal was to develop the most modern and best piece of highwall mining equipment for the mining industry, and before long, SHM was the world's leading manufacturer of highwall mining systems. The Superior Highwall Miner is designed to extract up to 70% of the coal by advancing up to 1,000 feet into the coal seam. Now before we go and take a closer look at this machine, let's talk a little bit about how the Superior Highwall Miner works, as this is probably a machine that not a lot of people are familiar with. The Superior Miner utilizes an interchangeable cutting head to cut the coal which is pushed into the coal seam by hydraulic cylinders. Push beams are inserted behind the cutter head as it advances into the coal seam. The push beam transfer mechanism inserts each beam into place above the power head. Each push beam contains two augers inside that move the cut coal through the beam to the power head. The coal then drops down through an opening in the power head onto a conveyor belt that stockpiles the coal outside the miner. This particular superior miner that you are looking at right here is currently undergoing repairs. However, we will still go and take a closer look at this machine. The Superior Miner was designed to cut coal seams ranging from 28 inches to 15 feet thick. Two cutter head modules were offered for this machine by SHM, depending on what the customer preferred. And they included a low seam cutter module that could be equipped with drum sizes ranging from 25 and 5 eighths to 28 inches in diameter and powered by two 165 horsepower motors or a mid to high seam cutter module equipped with a 38 inch diameter drum and powered by two 265 horsepower motors. The mid to high seam cutter module for this machine incorporated a Joy 14CM-15 continuous minor cutter head, boom and gathering pan assembly. The push beams for the Superior Miner are a rigid steel construction with wear plate resistant bottom plates. Each push beam measures 20 feet in length and this is what pushes the cutter head into the coal seam. The push beams are connected together by heavy steel hooks that can follow coal seam fluctuations of up to plus or minus 2 degrees between each push beam. Two 400 horsepower electric motors drive the two augers within each push beam, which you can see right here. Each set of augers automatically connects to the previous push beam set of augers. The Superior Miner features a bench anchoring system. Two augers in the front of this machine drill into the pit floor up to 8 feet deep, after which a 6 inch diameter steel pin is inserted through the base frame of this machine into the pit floor, thus stabilizing the miner when it goes to advance or retreat into the coal seam. On the front of this machine is the hose reel, which you can see right here, which carries enough cables and hoses for a mining penetration depth of up to 1,000 feet. All hoses are enclosed in metal linked shields to prevent the hoses and cables from getting ripped or torn during mining.
to help give you an idea of the size of a Superior Miner, this machine measures 30 feet tall from the ground to the top of the operator's cab. The undercarriage measures 33 feet 5 inches wide when extended outward for mining and measures 30 feet wide when retracted for tramming. Right here you can see the push beam transfer mechanism, which consists of a main support structure under which a trolley travels. And acting very similar to a cargo crane in nature, this is what lifts, moves, and sets the push beams in place when the miner is in operation. Okay, now let's go up top. If you look under here, you can see the power head which consists of two big hydraulic cylinders that generate 192 ton entry force and 385 ton retreat force to push and pull the push beams and cutter head into and out of the coal seam. And from right here, you can get a good view of the main machinery deck on this machine. You can see the hydraulic cylinders, one on each side, that will push or pull the push beams into and out of the coal seam. And you can see the track in the center where the push beams will be lowered into by the push beam transfer mechanism. On the back of the miner is the power module, which you can see right back here, which contains all the switches and electronics to work this machine and also contains a separate hydraulic room. On the Superior Miner, one 300 horsepower electric motor drives three variable displacement hydraulic pumps on the pump drive. Pump one and two are for advancing and retracting of the push beams and also for traveling. Pump 3 powers all other hydraulic functions, including the cutter head and the push beam transfer mechanism. Let's go up and check out the operator's cab on this machine. From here you can get a good overview inside the operator's cab of the Superior Miner. Now let's go and check it out. Okay. Probably the first thing that you notice looking inside the cab on this machine is as you can see, there's no hand levers. The operator station on the Superior Miner features touch screen controls for all functions. This big machine is equipped with SHM's Programmable Logic Controller, or PLC and can also be remotely controlled via a laptop computer. The Superior Miner was also available with a geosteering gamma detection system, which signals to the operator changes in coal thickness, 
allowing the operator to steer the cutter head to prevent the cutting of unnecessary top or bottom rock. And the cab on this machine also features a methane sensor readout which will alert the operator of methane levels of 1% and will automatically shut this machine down if methane levels exceed 2%. And from right here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running a superior highwall miner. And on the side of the operator's cab, here you can see the decal that says SHM, Superior Highwall Miners, Beckley, West Virginia. And from standing on the top catwalk here, you can get a great overview of the top deck on this machine. Right here you can see one of the big crawlers on this machine. The Superior Miner has four independent crawlers, one on each end, and these allow for full 180 degree traveling rotation. On the back of this machine, you can see the base frame discharge conveyor, which will stockpile all the raw cut coal once it falls down through the power head. Other optional conveyor systems can also be installed underneath the base frame discharge conveyor to allow for higher coal stockpiling. The Superior Miner was available from SHM with either straight electric power or by an SHM mobile generator set, which contained a Cummins V16 diesel engine that developed 2,000 horsepower for this machine. The mobile generator set for the Superior Miner was mounted on crawlers with its own self-contained operator's cab to allow for high mobility. And the overall operating weight of the Superior Miner when equipped with the low seam cutter head is 259.7 tons. When equipped with the medium to high seam cutter head, the Superior Miner weighs in at 283 tons. The Superior Miner was also designed in module sections to allow for quick breakdown and reassembly of the machine. In November of 2007, Terex Mining announced that it had acquired Superior Highwall Miners. This transaction was completed in 2008. Later on, in December of 2009, Terex announced that it would sell its mining division to Bucyrus International, and by February of 2010, the deal was complete. Seven months later, in November of 2010, 
Caterpillar announced that it would acquire Bucyrus International. And by mid-2011, the deal was complete and the former Superior Highwall Miner was renumbered the Caterpillar HW300. But there she is, a 1997 Superior Highwall Miner.